you're going to need 13 packets or 12 tablespoons of unflavored gelatin. I got it all together in the bowl so it would be ready. You're going to need an even cookie sheet, strips of newspaper cut, um, three cups of boiling water, and uh, a big mixing bowl and um, this uh, technique you put the three cups of cold water I forgot to tell you you need three cups of cold water too you put that in first you know when you normally make jelly you put the hot in but for this uh, you put the cold really cold water in first and stir that up real, really good and uh, you know until the gelatin's dissolved and then you're going to add your boiling water to that while you're stirring which for me was a little difficult because i'm uh, right-handed but i didn't want to pour the boiling water with my left hand <laughs> so i was having a little bit of problem there anyway now you got to pour this gently into your cookie sheet and look go in the middle of the cookie sheet otherwise it's going to pour probably all over your counter i got a little bit on my this stuff is uh really funny in a way because uh, try carrying a cookie sheet from the counter to the fridge oh my god it was hysterical I should have I should have videotaped that for you but anyway take this is what you do with the papers you're gonna remove the air bubbles and, and you're gonna do that just by um, drawing it lightly across the top and as you see the air bubbles just disappear see and uh, I did that several times but uh, let me tell you be very careful when you're transferring this to your refrigerator because um, it's it just it's it, it'll make a mess if you spill it okay and now you can uh, just this is the fun part you can put whatever you want on on the gelatin okay the gelatin has been in the refrigerator and now it's pulled out and it's set and it's firm and I'm using acrylic inks and a brayer to spread, but I put down a piece of paper. Uh, you know, you can use stencils and things like that. Just play around, have a good time with it. That's what I, that's what I did. I just played and I had so much fun. It was, it's just great. And, and this thing will last about a week or two weeks, I think they said, if you, um, if you, you know, take a real soft, uh, damp rag at the end and, and wipe it down and then you can put a piece of plastic wrap over it and just stick it back in the freezer and it or not freezer I'm sorry refrigerator and it'll la it should last about two weeks if you put a drop or so of um, bleach I found out later that it would make it last a little longer without getting moldy and stuff and I suppose when it gets moldy that's time to get rid of it but listen don't dispose of it down your um, um, sink even if you have a garbage disposal because they say that can, um, once it gets in the in the sink and the pipes, it acts like cement. So it will clog clog it up, and that's going to be a big uh, plumber's bill. So so just uh, discard it into the regular garbage can. Now this was just so much fun. So as you see, I'm just very carefully uh, pressing all over it all over the paper and I tell you I love the coolness of how it feels so cool on your hands the uh, gelatin itself is very cool from being in the fridge and uh, it says it will set up in about a 70 degree room but um, it's so hot here people it's like <laughs> it's spring it's March 22nd and I'm telling you it's so hot we had hot, record high temps yesterday and it's close to that again today. It's like 83, 84 degrees in, in March. So it's a little strange, but anyway, if you uh, have a very warm room, also your gelatin may begin to, um, you know, melt. So um, you have to be careful of that. But if you, if you rinse it down and put it, or, you know, pat it down with your real soft rag and put it back in the refrigerator for a while to set up again. So you can do so many prints at one time. Now I love doing the feathers. I thought that was really cool. Um, you can just play around with all sorts of things, you know, and see what happens. There's just no end to this. I'm using acrylic inks here, but I'm gonna try it because they're, uh, 
they're um, what do you call that see-through transparent uh, and but uh, acrylic inks are more op or acrylic paint is more opaque so I'm gonna try the uh, acrylic paint next I can't wait to try it again it's so much fun oh my goodness I had a blast did like 12 of these they're very interesting and you can use them for backgrounds and also um, you know uh, draw on them later after they're dried or you can rip them up and add them as collage bits to your um, paintings whatever I mean there's just all sorts of well you know as artists there's all sorts of possibilities so I had a really good time with this just wanted to let you know and um, give it a try oh the difference between this and doing uh, mono prints from uh, glass is the gelatin is uh, more malleable so you can you can actually carve into the gelatin at, at a later what I'm doing is I carved into it a tiny bit but I'm gonna kind of you know save it uh, you know until I get to that point but I mean use it up as much as you can but when you get to the very end of your um, you know art making you or print making you can take like a knife a small knife and make cuts in into the gelatin and then the ink or the paint will you know gather where the cuts are more and you'll just come up with all sorts of different textures and looks so um i'm not i, I carved a little bit but not really deep or, or not really you know because i was just kind of playing around but i don't want it to disintegrate yet so I'll do most of the um, hard carving when when I'm when I'm um, you know when it gets close to the time when the, when the thing needs to be thrown away, and 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 also after you know this side gets really messed up, if you want to try to get it out of the pan, that's another thing. You're supposed to get it out of the pan, but I didn't. I just used smaller paper because I figured after the big mess trying to get it into the fridge, I did not want to break it. Or ruin it so I wasn't even going to take the chance of taking it out of the pan and I bought these pans especially for this because I did have you know that big accident and <laughs> it was a mess but anyway um, you what you can do is after you're finished and you're almost ready to you know this side is just done for then you can take it out of the pan and flip it over and if it breaks don't worry just cut it up into uh, maybe smaller pieces and and do greeting cards with it or something and I tried this for some texture and like I said I wasn't really ready to press really hard into the gelatin but I bet this would really look neat if you know I'm gonna press it really hard in there and and get those um, shapes uh, indented into the gelatin so you can do these with glass you know or just about anything but I like the idea that you can carve up this um, gelatin in different ways too and get different um, textures and I really like how those rings turned out now that was just a you know a thing that kept three drink bottles together I got for the for my grandsons and um, I thought oh I'm gonna keep that I can probably use that for something <laughs> you know how I am what can I do with this? <laughs> anyway, this was so much fun. Enjoy the rest of the video. I think I've told you everything important. Thanks, people. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.